Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Yes, I'm wearing a hat. Yes, I'm looking really shit because I'm cold. So cold. It's, um... <laughs> the problem is, when I was a mouth to lung vapour, this wasn't an issue. Because I used to be able to sit in the shed and I would just have my little 10 watt vape and I would be... And, and that would be fine. But now, now because chucking clouds and all this kind of stuff, um, this tiny, tiny shed just fills up with vapour so quickly. And it doesn't bother me a great deal, but I've got TJ in here with me. So um, I have to have the door practically open the whole time, which really means that it just gets so <laughs> cold. So I'm, I'm I'm sitting here all wrapped up. Anyway, first things first because we want to get this one out the way. Um, now these. Now so you've got th these two little squonkers that I printed off on my 3D printer there, um, which you're not really interested in. Uh, but both of them and. Um, a Narda and three top caps uh, are going to somebody. That somebody, we're going to find out who it is just now because we did a charity raffle and just checking right at this second. <laughs> this is mental. Uh, where is it? Is it that one? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, now this is a combination of uh, the, two, the last raffle that I did as well, but it works out about uh, £1,700 was raised, a um, combination of these two raffles. Oh, sorry, for just this one raffle. So, uh, going back to that button and going up to random. So, I have copied everybody's name that bought a ticket. So, it was a pound a ticket and all their names are in here. Uh, I think there's 1,700 odds, whatever. It'll tell me in a second. So we're going to run this three times. So here we go. Randomize one. Doink. And there were 1,000. So there's, we raised £1,740. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll this down. We're going to go again. And scroll it down again. And one last time. Boink. There we go. Mark Blando. Uh, Mark Blando, um, you won yourself an Arda and some other goodies as well. Um, you're probably not interested in the mods, but you've got an Arda. So, Mark Blando, um, give me a shout. Uh, drop your, my email address is in the description for every video, but just give me a shout and we'll sort out getting all this stuff out to you. Can't Thank you guys enough. Uh, I mean, that's just since I started, I changed the way that I did the charity stuff. Um, and this is, I mean, that's now just, you know, that's £3,231 for that. And I think for the Dogs Trust, we did a couple for that. There's, and there you go, my internet's not working. Oh, I've got £504 there. Uh, it's, it's just, Brilliant. I mean, that's in the two and a half years that I've been doing this now, that's over £50,000 raised for charity. And just in the past few weeks, that's another... It's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> just thank you to everybody that contributes. I know that I don't do a lot of giveaways or give stuff away for free through videos and things like that. And, and I know it upsets some people. But at the end of the day, I couldn't give a shit because helping people, helping animals and all the rest of it out, I would much rather do that and lose subscribers. You know, I couldn't give a shit about subscriptions, to be quite honestly. I would be rather helping out people and animals than getting subs. There you go. <laughs> so much money for people uh, and doggies. Um, and we'll sort out another raffle before long. Uh, we'll sort out another one. Uh, we'll try and make this next one something special as well. Uh, there's a few things here that uh, I could 
yeah, I could make this quite interesting. That again, I, I want to because people are donating so much money for these things. I want to make them the prize is something not necessarily rare, special, something that normally. And I don't mean this to sound rude, and I apologise if it does. Joe Bloggs couldn't necessarily af afford. You know, if you can afford one pound for a ticket, he's in with a chance of getting something that he might not normally get, which is, is great fun. It's great fun. Right. Shall we do a vlog? That's probably why you're here. Uh, right, closey, closey that window down. What have I been vaping on? Right, let's get some gear on the go here. Uh, lots to show you, lots of names for me to remember, which I'll forget. You just know I will. Uh, I need to get uh, some batteries on the go here. I need to get some bottles. Let's have a quick vape. I must be the only person in the world that sits at his desk and his go-to mod for when he's fanning about is a caravella. Um, that's just... It really, I've said this many times before, this always has a battery and always has juice in it and it sits right there. When I'm fanning about with getting mods together or reviewing and things like that, when I'm tearing my hair out and throwing a wobbly, I pick this wee thing up and I just have a little mouth, not a mouth to lung vape, but a little quick blast. There's usually 6 or 12 milligram in this and, and it's just beautiful. I don't know if that'll focus, uh, probably not. Yep, there she goes. Don't focus. See if I care. You piece of shit camera. <sighs> um, I vowed I was going to use. <laughs> I was going to use the, the the proper camera, but because I'm doing the the screenshots and whatnot, I decided that I was just going to use the webcam again, and I can use OBS software for cutting to other windows and things like that, because I'm lazy. It's as simple as that. I'm just lazy. Right, let's get this on here. Um, boink. And I need a battery. Shut up. Pop that in there. Stick with me. Shut up! I bet you this is... Let's have a quick look. Oh no, it's not Dean. That's unusual. It's, it's usually Mr. Dean. Mr. Dean the Vaping Biker that's beeping me when I'm trying to record. We just know. We just it's just we're just tuned to one another. We know when the other person's trying to record something. Um trip tip. The trip tip. That'll do. There we go. There's one. Doink. China. Okay. I have some gear from China. Uh the first two bits. Well, I'll tell you what, the first thing I'm going to show you. Uh, is this was sent on to me by AVE40 in China and this is the Capo uh, 100 watt and I'm almost out of juice there damn uh, it's a 21700 variable voltage variable wattage mod temp control and all that kind of stuff and I've had this for a few days now and I do have to say oh, a little bit of juice there it's very good if I'd gone out and spent my money on this, I'd be quite happy with it. I'd be quite content having spent my money on this wee thing. Uh, I really don't have anything in the way of issues to report with this. It just the only thing, the only things that I'll say is, and I'll cover this in review, is the the twenty one seven hundred battery that comes with it. It's no great shakes. Don't get excited about the size of it because it's a really big battery. And it says, you know, however, actually, yeah, oh, this one here, um, you know, you get that iJoy battery with it, it's 3,750 milliamp hour. <sighs> just think of your best 18650 that you've got, it's just the same. It, it's, it's not going to change your world. And it doesn't seem to last that much longer than just a good 18650. The only thing is that you, you, you have to ramp the coil up. I mean, at its minimum, I'm in 40 watts. Uh, 40 watts and it's a 0 0.4 ohm coil. I'm still having to give it 40 watts to get it going. And the amount of air that goes through this thing, you, you'll not mouth to lung this. So 
You have to vape it. Cloudy. No, you don't have to, but to get the best out of it, you have to. And and this isn't a TPD version that I've got here. Uh, the, the guys that have got the TPD ones, I mean, 2 mil of liquid that, say, 60 watts, you'll be filling it up every two seconds. Um, the only other thing is that with all these iJoy, you know, with the, the battery on the side here, you know, this, the, the threading on this cap here always sucks balls. It's it's just, it's not the, it's not the, it doesn't feel silky smooth, shall we say, but uh, it does the job. It does the job. And yeah, I'd be quite happy with that. I'd be quite happy with that. Good bit of kit. Good bit of kit. Um, other stuff that arrived. <laughs> okay. These guys. Now, uh, this is the DP Pro 133. This is a dual 18650, 133 watts. Think of it as a, it's, it's just a pop a battery. It'll fire in one battery. You can put one 18650 in it if you want, and it comes with a dripper. Uh, or the kit does. Um, I'm not sure in the UK. I know Evolution Vaping is going to be selling these. Just think of it as a mech mod with some protection built in. Uh, the batteries will... You get a little... See the lights there? When this I ran this right down, I ran the batteries flat, the batteries were reading 3.15 volts. That's how low they went before it wouldn't fire again. Um, it also has um, other features. I, actually, I'll not mention that just now. It works. It does the job fine. It really does. The only issue I have is is really with the the, the dripper. Look at this. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Top cap. The O-rings are terrible. They really are terrible. Uh, it's actually quite a good wee dripper though. It's got a wee bit of a whistle to it. As with uh, some other drippers out there, just move the hole a little bit to the side and that will kill the whistle and away it will go. But um, the o-rings on the one I have are shockingly bad, which means that juice is escaping and leaking down, which is really annoying. The mod, if you just got the mod by itself, these things have been around for ages, this kind of idea. You know, it's going to put out 4.2 volts when the battery is freshly charged and it drains off. There's no regulation. So that's the D-Pro 133. Uh, the other one is the Azeroth, um, and that's their Squonker. Right, here we go. The door is terrible. The door's terrible. It it rattles. Uh, it really does rattle bad. Ba it rattles bad. Sorry, bad if you're watching this. I, I feel I failed you. My just just but anyway. Um, <laughs> the door's terrible. Um, the it's not a proper mechanical. There is a wire in there. Uh, there's a wire that goes from the bottom up through here and then around the top and then to the switch. It's like the Ram Squonker in that respect. I don't get my knickers in a twist over that. It doesn't bother me that much uh, because it still fires. It still performs. Uh, the 21700, 2700 and 18650 adapter comes with it. So it'll work with all of them. Um, but I find the 2700 quite tight to get in. It'll go in, it's not an issue, but I find it kind of tight. The other thing is the squonk bottle. The squonk bottle is the worst squonk bottle I've ever come across in my life. Look at this. Um, I don't want to do it, it's got liquid in it. it just, really is bad um there's a thing there's let's let's have a size comparison could i, I put 
yeah, you could pop a modern acre bottle in there, no problem. Um, if you're going to buy this, I would, quite frankly, I would bin the bottle that comes with it because it's shit. It really is shit. Um, I actually, I'm at the point that I can't get the nozzle back. I can't get the nozzle back on to here because when I push it on, it's actually pushing. This just falls down like that. Um, it, it's just incredible. Oh, there we go. It's got it. It's incredibly bad. Uh, it's the same dripper, basically, that comes with the DP Pro 133. The other thing is the fire button is a little bit... I'm used to it now. I don't have an issue with it, but it takes a bit of getting used to the fire button. But it's got these sharp edges here and here, here and here. It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable at all. And it's got that little whistle, so you have to close that off a bit. The O-rings aren't as bad on this one. Anyway, this will probably be getting a terrible review. Uh, it's, for me, it's the worst. Out of all the squonkers I've seen this year so far, this is the, the this is bad. I think this is pretty bad. I wouldn't be happy with spending my money on this. I think there are far better options out there in this segment of the market. Got to, you know, the, the, uh, anyway, so there's that. Uh, now, shit, forgotten the name of it. The Kingsman. The Kingsman by Max, <laughs> Max Woodpecker. Now, this was sent on, this was sent on to me by Rob at Steam Island, because he's actually selling these. Uh, now this is a 21700. Uh, that's a Mod Maker bottle, a Mod Maker 510, and, and all that jazz in there. This is actually quite comfortable. I, I, I love that bottle, that exposed bottle right across there. For squonking, it's just great. It's quite a stiff button. Uh, I do find it a bit on the stiff side, but I'm kind of hoping that'll free up over time. The only issue I have with the this, the Kingsman, is, and he does different doors as well, uh, when you squonk, you have to hold the door shut. I find if I squonk and I don't have my, my finger or thumb in the door, then the door does move. Can you see that moving there? So you really do have to keep your finger on it, and even then it's trying to squeeze out the bottom. That's the only issue I have with it. But... I love this cutout at the back for the battery. I have another door and it performs quite well. Now this RDA, uh, that's the... Help. B2K RSA. Where is it? There it is. I got it right! I got it right! Uh, the B2K. Um, that's the one with all the different top caps and everything. I think that's really good. Really, really like this. That's the more I use it, the more I'm enjoying it. And I think they've done, uh, for the price point, I think it's about $70. I haven't actually had a look to see if anybody in the UK is selling it yet. Oh, they also sent me this. They sent me stickers and battery wraps, but they sent me that as well. Um, is that a money holder? Is that is that what that is? Is that a, a note? You know, for wedging your notes in, what, what is it? And, a, and a bottle opener, um, what are the holes for? Right, you're all educated people, people of the world, uh, please uh, tell me what that is. Anyway, there we go, so there's that. Um, now, let's find Mel. Mel, where are you Mel? Come in Mel, because um, I was speaking to Mel earlier on. And where's he gone? Because I want to show you this. There we go. Now, I don't think I had this in time for the last vlog, but a guy got in touch with me a wee while ago called Mel from Northern Dreampipe Mods. Guy in the UK. And he was asking for some advice on setting up Facebook pages and how to sell mods and things like that. 
and he showed me a couple of photos of things that he had constructed from wood. <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous things. Uh, harps, things like that. Not mods, but, you know. And then he sent on one of his mods, which arrived uh, earlier in the week. And, right, it's another squonker. This is it here. That's a Narca on top. That's an Otis drip tip. Um, now, it's nothing that I'm going to be, you know, it's just inside, just a mod maker bottle, an 18650. Uh, four magnets on here, magnets on the door, the body as well. That clips in. There are no rattles, there are no gaps, there is nothing, zero, nada, wrong with this at all. Nothing at all. Um, and I'm just I'm just going to scroll up here just to see if I can find this. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Um, actually, you sent me an email, didn't you? Mel, you sent me an email about this. I know you did. Mel, there we go. Right, the wood that's on this. Um, <laughs> right, the door and the back panel here, this is quilted ash or quilt figured ash as it's called. And the rest of the, the wood is Cuban mahogany and that applies to the, the top caps as well and the fire button. Don't know how to explain this to you. Um, if you go into a furniture shop, okay, if you go into any furniture shop in the UK, um, or B and Q, or, or or anywhere like that, and and you go up and you find yourself a, a table or a piece of furniture, and run your hand over it, and it just feels, and this sounds terrible, it just feels like a bit of wood. It feels cheap. It feels just, but but go to an antique shop and find something really old that costs a lot of money, a really expensive table made out of beautiful, beautiful wood and run your hand over that and you will feel the difference. There's a world of difference between woods and how they feel. And, and this to me feels like my, my mum and dad's dining room table that they've, that they've had for decades that's how this feels this feel I, I'm sorry I'm I'm just a giver an idiot I know but this feels gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I love this I mean no qualms about it I think that what I would have liked uh, do you know see how you've got the curves the curve of the body going here I would have loved it if that door the edge there sorry the edge there had maybe followed that curve as well. So they just just a little bit had gone in, in there as well. Just a little design change. And the same in the back. Now I'm nitpicking. This is just me saying if in my my head, if I could have designed it myself, I would have possibly have done that rather than having that straight edge. That's it. Also, uh, this one has a catch cup on it. The, the later ones will not. Now that he's got the mod maker tightening kit um i'll stop there i've gone on enough uh, if you go and have a look on facebook for northern dream pipe mods you'll see his work on there and i think they're glorious don't know if i'm being clear but i really do no shut up <laughs> really do like that i am um, now, juice-wise, I'll tell you what I've been... This arrived today. I have no... This is from Lancashire Steam Company, okay? Um, gin Bramble. And, and and I have to I have to read this to you. I have to read this to you. Uh, Lancashire... There we go. New flavours. Let's see if I can find it there. Yes, I'm 18. Um, oh, where is it? Uh, gin Bramble. Okay, now this is, I have no idea what gin bramble is. I've never tried that before in my life. Um, this is how they call it. This light, cool, refreshing cocktail mix blend mixes gin with a dash of three liqueurs. Creme de pure blackberry, creme de mure blackberry, creme de cassis, blackcurrant and chambord raspberry 
Then it's shaken with crushed ice and a light grape soda. Finish with a squeeze of lime and top with a slice of lemon and fresh mint leaves. No idea. It's awesome. It's so not my kind of juice and it's because I'm into my desserts and whatnot, but this is like lip smackingly good. Um, I don't recommend juices because I just vape what I like. Um, but I like this, and that's all I can say here. Uh, that's all I can say. But thank you to Lancashire Steam Company, as always, for just popping this in the post to me. <laughs> really like it. Um, other stuff moving round the table. What have we got? Um... You know most of the rest of the stuff. Actually, did I show you this before? It helps when you put a battery in things. Uh, let's have an 18650 here. Uh, oh, the record of the week behind me is the Smiths. The Queen is dead. Um, that. I, I I had that album years ago, and I like most of my old vinyl, I seem to have lost it, but I went and bought that, and uh, what an awesome album. Awesome album. Um, really do like it a lot. Juice, I need juice in this. I, I'm going to show you, I don't know if I showed you this before, I might have just shown you the box, and not actually the mod. Uh, Beyond Vape, I told you I met them down at the uh, Expo, uh, well they gave me one of their CK, is it CKS, the ARIA mods, what's this called, find a name, Mr Todd, do your job properly for a change, the Bob, the Bob 24, I know it says something else, the Fujin, but we'll call it Bob, um, just to be sure, so there it is there, And that, once again, yes, I know, I know, it's the Doge version 4. Uh, this has got magnets in the switch, and it's just so light. So, so light to fire this. But it's it's nice. It is nice. It does... It's not bad. Oh, that gin and bramble is gorgeous. Um, so I'll be vaping away with that. Uh, also vaping away with, and can I pop this? Let's, I think I mentioned this during the week, but this is the Tanko from Odis. Um, I've put a different build in it because I, I'm just still trying to get to grips with this. I've put the stainless steel top cap on, still the Ultim tank, and I heather dripped it from Siam Mods. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. Um, it's, as I said, I think somebody described it as, what did they describe it as? An RTA with dripper vape performance. It's a big, airy, single coil RTA. That, that's what it is. Um, have, I got anything else with a, have I got anything with a battery in it? That's shocking. <laughs> Let's give this another blast. Because I didn't put that, I put another, I didn't, uh, I put that other coil in there just the other night just to try it out. Because I really wasn't getting on well with it. Or I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, the vape quality isn't what I thought it should be. Oh, there we go. She's alive! Actually, that's not bad. Um, I've actually got to sort the wicking on out. Sort the sort the wicking out on it. Oh, what the hell? Um, but it it should be very very easy to wick this. When you look at it, it, well, it is easy to build on. It's easy to wick, but the wicking seems to be intermittent. It doesn't keep up as well as it should. So I'm going to try another couple of builds on it and see how I get on. It's strange because it's looking at it, it's really simple this RTA. Very, very simple, but I'm kind of struggling with it. Uh, other stuff, and once again, I'm still vaping away on the Eagle. Tilly Mahus Armed Eagle. Yes, the T-A-E uh, from Golden Greek, which I really like. Really like this. I think it's very good. Um, 
I think it's very good. <sighs> what else? That's it. Um, I've been going 3D printing crazy. I'm afraid. Um, I really have. I've been. I don't know if you'll be able. To, oh no! I'll just. Yeah, I'll just show you the light. Uh, I'll just show, see the the snib up the top there, on the. Uh, that. <laughs> That's three D printed. Um, what else did I print? Oh, I printed. This is a, a cool new guy. This is a. You know when you want to do fancy thumbnails, so you just got a sheet of A4, but these two frames and it just clips a bit of A4 paper into it so you just stick whatever it is up against it and it gives you a you know it's really easy clean way to take a photo of something uh, so I've been mucking about with that I'm also going to 3D print I need to clear up some space here space is getting really silly uh, so I've got my battery holders here so I, I made up a prototype um, so basically it's a wall mounted so screw it to the wall and it'll hold my, my, like that, but there'll be little bits going like this. So the batteries will, so the batteries are going to sit like that. So I can just sit the batteries and they'll all be wall mounted. It's just, I know it's daft, but I am having so much fun with that printer this time round. Um, I really am. It's just great, great fun. Ah. Uh, other stuff, other stuff. Right, let's quickly. I'll bore you to death with cars for a second, because I've not done that for a while. Um, right, many, many moons ago, many, many moons ago, I was, and let's see if I can't find the photos. This will be a small one to start off with, I think, unless I can zoom in. It's going to be poor quality, though. Uh, right. How did I end up with these? I can't remember. I ended up, it was when I was off ill, it was when I was barking at the moon, shall we say. And I woke up one morning and thought, I would like a different car. So I ended up getting on the train or a plane or, or no, it was a train. And I ended up somewhere down south and I ended up buying, uh, not that. Uh, oh, why are you not work? Why are you not work? I'm not working. No! Uh, two seconds. Yes, I want to remove that. There we go! That's the one! Uh, right. Now, this is an old MR2, but this had the most vile colour. It had a veil side body kit on it. It had, um, what were the lights called? What were the lights called that we used to slap on the car that light, lit them up underneath and all the rest of it? it had all that on it. Um, it had a black... It, it was just horrendous. Um, and I drove it... Oh, it must have been a few hundred miles back up to Scotland. And I got to the bottom of the road up to my house. And I promptly ripped off that bloody stupid veil side spoiler. Um, <laughs> just... Because it's a really sharp hill when you come off the main road, so that got damaged. Uh, that was a 3SFE engine. The most underpowered engine you can get in an MR2 SW20. And it was also automatic. It was a shit heap. It was just shockingly bad. But the thing was that I fell in love with the mid-engine rear-wheel drive whole thing. And I had, in total, I had about 14 MR2s. I had Mark 1s, Mark 2s, and a Mark 3. Um, I had turbos. I had a Mark 1 that had a wood sport conversion. I had a 3-litre V6 conversion. Um, I just went daft. For, for quite a few years, I was just heavily, heavily into the MR2s. Things just went crazy. Uh, I'll I'll, sh I'll bore you to death with some of them. Um, this was an old Rev 1. Um, this was a turbo, if I remember right. Um, and it, it, it's just, oh, there's my old Scooby as well. There's my Scooby. Um, it was, <laughs> yeah, it, it is what it is. It was just a, a Rev 1. It was, it was not bad, that one. Uh, I bought a Rev 4. Um, that was a revision 4-1 and I had to do a lot of body work in that one 
uh, I had to sort out a lot of the paint work so I'd, I'd, I did it all myself so I'd redid the arches and I painted the front bumper and the wing and shit like that so I got a lot of that sorted uh, Rev 4 this was my first this was Black Betty this was this was a Rev 1 as well but this is when I started getting into detailing and I just, oh my god, I spent so much time polishing that car, it is frightening. Uh, have I got another photo of it there? No, I don't. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, that's a shame. But this was my pride and joy for a long time, this one. This was just one sweet ass car. Um, another one I had was I drove down south once again to buy this one. Um, I forget, was this a Bomex? had Bomex bumpers, Tom side skirts, and it had everything going on. It had a stupid, um, one of these stupid slotted front bumpers, but it had a TRD number plate, and... <sighs> God, that was a gorgeous car. It really was. Um, I also had, uh, this was another Turbo. I went down to Birmingham to buy this. It had a Tom's body kit on it. And it caught fire on the way back from Birmingham. Um, but it was fun. And I spent ages working on that one. And I ended up making... I sold it for sweetie money. I really did. And I think that was it for the... Oh, and I managed to talk Karen into... <laughs> I bought this as well. Um, this was a Mark III. Uh, this was a Japanese import once again. And I had some great fun with that. That was a really, really nice car. That was, yeah, that was a nice car to drive. It really was. Um, I'll tell you what, I need to go and find... Hang on, let's see if I can't find... Where are we? Where are we? Uh, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I had lots of other ones to show you. And they've all disappeared. No! Right, I've got a Mark 1, I've got a Mark 1. There's a go. There it is. There. There we go. Uh, there. So I had a, a Mark One as well, and I had a, a a black version of this as well that had the V6 in it. And and that's it. That's it for the cars. Sorry. <sighs> Some people like me whittering on about the cars. Some people hate it. And and I don't know. I'm just sharing something that I love, or used to love, was cars. And. I've kind of, no, who am I kidding? I'm going to say I've grown up now, but uh, I used to change my car like every three to six months. It was shocking. It was really, really bad. Um, now, what else have I got coming on? Uh, we have various mods coming along. I still have, and <sighs> let me know in the comments. I still have people trying to send me 3D printed squonkers, stab wood mech squonkers and things like that. And let me know, are you interested? Or do you care anymore? Would you rather that I went back to doing what I used to do? Just various... Or, or does it not matter? Would you, do you not care? I mean, suppose at the end of the day, if it's not something you're interested in, you're not going to watch it. Uh, I just wanted to try and find out if I'm... I look at viewing figures and I notice that when I'm doing 3D printed or just mech squonkers like mid budget, mid range and high end, you know, the the mid range and high end, hardly anybody watches them anymore. Uh, but I'd like to know what you think. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, now, do I have anything to shout out? Uh, I don't I have nothing to say there. And I think that is everything there. Right, I'm actually bored out my skull. I'll be honest, Karen's away. Karen, Karen went out to Portugal yesterday. Uh, and it's Friday night and I'm sitting here with TJ and I'm just bored. <laughs> just bored. But anyway, I'm going to go because I'll have to edit this and get this uploaded so that the winner of the, the Narda can uh, get in touch with me and I can post it out. Thank you. As always to everybody. Oh, TV programmes. Tell you what I watched. The Sinner. Uh, Jessica Beale. I binged on that uh, yesterday when Karen went away. It's alright. It's not shit. 
um, and it's perfectly watchable. It's okay. It's actually okay. Um, the Sinner. It's on Netflix. Um, it's not as good as Mindhunter or, or anything like that, but it's, it's perfectly watchable. Um, what else? <laughs> I ended up watching. I was bored. I was eating my dinner, and I watched the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Men Tell No Tales, or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's utter shit, but it was fun. It was fun, uh, and I watched some other crap as the week went on as well. Uh, Discovery still great. Uh, watching Lucifer, watching Supernatural. How do I get anything done? I've no idea. What other videos have I been watching? There's, I, should, I haven't done this for a few weeks. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, congrats. <coughs> congratulations to the Ideal Om Show. It was their birthday. Two years old. Two years old. Um, weird. That's two years since I started watching. I think I've watched every single one live. Even when I've been away on holiday, I've still watched them. So strange. Uh, I still enjoy it. I still, it's organised chaos. It's just, <laughs> it's organised chaos. I mean, obviously it started off with Dean, the vaping biker. He was a co-host as well. Dean left. Uh, then they got Richard, uh, uh, vaping V1CK. He joined up. Then Gary Craig left. Um, and I think that now they're looking for a fourth host again. Um, it's a good show. It's it's off. It just goes off on a tangent so often, and it's just they're nutters. They're absolute nutters. But anyway, uh, videos that I did this week. So I did the key by E Phoenix. Now I th I said I said I was so sore that I thought that <laughs> what's with that? What's with the list? Uh, Fwee Brian. Fwee. Anyway, so I did the key by E Phoenix and loved the mod. I think the mod's really, really nice. Uh, the board is just, for me, is just clunky and I wasn't a huge fan of the board. Uh, the L Thunder Mechanical mod uh, from Russia, that is now. Uh, boink, there. Keeping that. Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's an old mod, it's been out for months. Um, but I really liked it. Um, and that's all I've done since the live vlog that I did four days ago. Um, videos I've been watching. Right. Um, nothing. <laughs> Actually, nothing. Uh, I was on the Dean's live vlog, as usual. Uh, which I really enjoy. I really enjoy. I don't know how much longer that'll go on for. I suppose as long as we're both not sick of one another and and people seem to be enjoying it. But it's, it's nothing, you know, it's not... It's Dean's vlog. I just happen to... I mean, he does it live and, and I moderate the chat and, and I get to come on for a wee bit at the end. But it's Dean's vlog. But as, as long as he has me on as a, a little distraction at the end, then that's cool. It's good fun. It's good fun. Um... That's it. I've not watched. I've hardly watched any vaping reviews. Oh no, I did. I watched one. Where is he? Um, let's do. Oh, oh, I've forgotten. There we go. There we go. Right. Uh, I'll do a shout. No, I'm not doing a shout out. Um, because he's, because he's a cock. <laughs> right. There's a guy that stays. Just up the road, if you like. He's, he's in, in my area. Called Bob. Um, and it's Ophidian Vapes. O-P-H-I-D-I-A-N. Uh, Ophidian Vapes. It's something to do with snakes. Uh, I've done a shout out for him in the past. And I watched his video. He's just, he put a video up. Uh, it was a first impression for the Vandy Vape Mesh RDA. Really funny. Um... Was talking to Dean, we were in a hangout with one another, and I mentioned Bob and and whatnot. And I said, I'm going to go and put his vlog on and see if he does a shout out because he meant Bob mentioned to me he should watch my vlog. So I said to Dean, uh, I said, if he shouts out you first, he said, that's it. 
Uh, the toys are going out the pram. I'm just, I've had enough. I mean, I'm Scottish as well, and I live just down the road from the guy. And so I'm listening to it. And who, who does he shout out first? Dean. I don't think I even get a shout out. I just get the piss taken out of me. I get no respect from anybody anymore. It's so funny. Uh, but there you go. There's uh, Ophidian Vapes. And he's he's a nice guy, Bob. But go and give, and give his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Go and give his channel a view. Um, that is it. I'm going to go. Uh, guys, have a great weekend. And as always, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. We'll see you next. Um... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will have reviews out for the the three Chinese mods that I showed you at the start here. I'll have reviews out for each of them. And, and that's it. Take care, guys. Bye.